Club Express, managing payments, charges, and credits. Club Express keeps transactions and payments separate, which is the correct accounting way of doing things. Transactions are charges created in a number of different ways. For example, a charge is created by the membership wizard during a membership sign-up or renewal, and if money is not due, the charge will be zero. This might be a member signing up through the website, or by an administrator or coordinator adding or renewing a person through the member manager. Transaction charges are also created for several other activities, such as event registrations, when donations are accepted, ad hoc forms are submitted, or store purchases are made. Credits are automatically created, for example, when refunds are issued, perhaps for canceled event registration. Administrators can also create miscellaneous charges and credits as needed. Let's explore some of the tools available to manage your club's finances on a daily basis. This video looks at transactions in four modules. The Member Manager, the Transaction Search, which includes pending payments, the Open Credits, and the Multiple Miscellaneous Charges modules. Look for other videos that discuss features like donations, discount coupons, events, and additional charges. We're already logged into our demo site as an administrator, so we go to the control panel. Before we look at the tools on the Money tab, let's visit the Member Manager and look at a couple of transactions. In the Maintain column, a dollar sign icon appears for anyone who owes money. For example, Alice's member status is pending which means her membership has been approved, but she hasn't paid yet. Clicking on the icon shows a screen with one transaction with a check mark next to it, her request to join the club. And this single transaction has the membership fee along with some required and optional purchases. When she next visits the site, she'll be prompted to complete the payment. She can pay the entire bill, or for some transactions, an icon is displayed where she can edit the payment amount to submit a partial payment, leaving the rest as a balance due. She can pay by credit card, PayPal, or print an invoice where she can send in a check or hand cash to someone perhaps at a meeting. But because we're logged in as an administrator, we have different payment options to show how we received the money. We can enter a supplied credit card or PayPal information. We can log that we received a check or cash. And we can write the transaction off as a bad debt or comp, that is, we forgive the charge, and we can record that the payment has been processed by another system or that it was received from a chapter. Let's look at what Bill Alexander owes. He has two transactions pending. Both are charges. One's for an event registration and one for a donation. We see that none of these transactions are currently selected. When we select one or more transaction, the items are added to the total selected for payment. Again, the payment amount can be edited and the totals updated and after payment a balance would remain. Also note that when the discount coupon module is enabled and transactions are selected, a have a coupon field appears where the appropriate coupon code can be entered and applied. Let's go back to the member manager and see how to issue a charge and a credit to a member. When we click on the charge credit icon for this member, we can specify whether we are creating a charge that must be paid or a credit which can be applied against any payment. First, we'll create a charge. Bill lost his name tag and needs a new one. So we enter the date and either make this a miscellaneous charge or select from a list that displays items that have been defined in the additional charges module. When we click save, the charge is applied. Next, because Bill did some shopping for the club, we're going to issue him a credit of $25. We select from the list of credit types, enter the amount, and select the financial account. Then click Save to create the credit. Now let's see what Bill owes. The charge is added as a selectable transaction item, and the credit will automatically be applied to the total. If several credits have been entered, they're summed up and will be applied to the total. If the outstanding credit is larger than the total, the total will be zero and the credit status will reflect that it is partially used and the remaining balance of the credit will be available for other payments. In addition to the tools in the Member Manager, administrators can click the profile link for any member and easily see the transaction and payment history along with other financial data. Also note that members can always access their own profile to see their information. Administrators can do similar operations and see financial data for non-members. Click on the Non-Member Database item in the Control Panel's People tab. 
Then click the More Options icon for a non-member. From there, you can view and manage many items using the same tools as for members. Now let's take a look at the first few items on the Control Panel's Money tab. Click Transaction Search Pending Payments to see a screen that has two primary functions, and they're defined by the first set of radio buttons. You can search for transactions and payments, or you can record bulk payments that apply to multiple pending transactions. When you select Transaction Payments Search, you can use the options to filter the search in multiple ways. You can enter criteria into more than one field, and the system will find transactions that match all the entered values. The list can be limited to all transactions, paid only, or unpaid only. You can include everyone or limit the list to members only or non-members only. You can also limit to last name, member number, or transaction reference number. In this example, we'll look at all transactions for the past few weeks. We can specify the dates by selecting the custom date range from the transaction date drop-down menu of commonly used date ranges. Note that the end date cannot be in the future. You can also choose the result sort order. Here we'll sort by last name. When we press search, each transaction is shown separately, including the person's name and whether or not they're a member, the transaction type, date, and reference number, the transaction amount, and status. Note that event registrations that do not incur a fee are listed with zero as the amount. Individuals with more than one transaction will be listed multiple times because the transactions are not aggregated. 30 transactions are shown at a time and paging is enabled. Note that if your club or association has subgroups, this screen is available to subgroup administrators. It will automatically be filtered to just the members or non-members assigned to the subgroups managed by that administrator. For each result, there are icons in the Maintain column. Keep in mind that it's easy to switch between all transactions, paid, and unpaid by changing the transaction status, then clicking Search. All transactions display a receipt icon. Clicking it displays a receipt for this transaction in a pop-up window. The receipt shows the details of the transaction, including the individual transaction items, and any payments made against the transaction. The next two icons only appear for unpaid and partially paid transactions. Clicking the Make Payment icon displays the Make a Payment screen that we saw earlier. Clicking the Invoice icon shows a standard report dialog with reports formatted for different envelope types. The transaction invoices include only the selected transaction and any other transactions for that member will be ignored. But the member invoices include all open transactions for the selected member. Now let's look at bulk payments. Bulk payments allow you to select multiple transactions and record a single payment that will be applied to all of the selected transactions. When the Bulk Payments radio button is selected, the search screen changes slightly. When you click Search, the result list shows only unpaid and partially paid transactions. There may be multiple transactions for one member or non-member, or multiple transactions from a single company that are being paid with one check. Each transaction has a checkbox on the left side to allow you to check one or more transactions. A running count and total are maintained to the right of the grid. When the amount reaches the amount of the payment to be recorded, click the Bulk Payments button. Select the payment method and enter any other information as appropriate. Then click Apply Payment to record your payment against all of the selected transactions. Note that the credit card option is not available for bulk payments. Also, all the selected transactions will be marked as paid in full, and these transactions will be removed from the bulk payment screen. You can also click the Invoices button to print an invoice for all checked transactions. Several invoice reports are available. The invoice will be formatted for a standard number 9 or number 10 window envelope. Each checked transaction will be printed on a separate page, suitable for individual mailing. Or it can be a grouped invoice. Checked transactions are combined and totaled into a single invoice that's mailed or emailed to a single address. This option is suitable for multiple transactions belonging to a family or a company. When this option is used, check transactions are not removed from the unpaid transactions list since the payment has not yet been received or recorded. Now back to the control panel. When you select open credits, the screen shows open credits that can be applied to transactions. 
The list includes the date, member, description, status, amount, and balance. You can add a credit or edit an existing open credit. Click the Add Credit button to see a screen where you select a member and fill out the credit information as described earlier, and the credit will be applied to the member's account. Click the Edit icon to modify an existing credit. The first item on this screen is where you select an action. Edit means you're changing the various properties of the credit. Refund means to mark the remaining balance of the credit as having been refunded to the member. Note that no credit is actually issued by Club Express. The actual refund must be handled by the club's treasurer. The Waive option marks the remaining balance of the credit as waived, which means the member has elected not to use it, in effect, donating its value back to the club. When you choose Cancel and no part of the credit has been applied, the credit will be deleted. However, if the credit has been partially applied, the amount will be changed to the applied amount canceling the remaining balance. Click Save to save your changes and return to the open credit screen or cancel to return without saving. If your club or association has subgroups, subgroup administrators can access open credits but will only see credits for their members. Now back at the control panel, click on multiple miscellaneous charges. This option allows you to apply a single miscellaneous charge to multiple members. You enter an appropriate description of the charge and the amount of the charge to be made and the financial account. Then either click on a member last name letter range, or if your club or association is relatively small, you can click the show all option to list all active members. You can select one or more members in the result who should receive the charge. Note that you must click the save button to process the charges for the currently displayed selected members. If you click a different last name letter range without saving, the current selections are cleared and not processed. When you click Save, the miscellaneous charges will be applied to each of the checked members. So now you've seen how to manage transactions, payments, and credits in Club Express. Please watch the related tutorial videos that discuss features like donations, discount coupons, events, and optional additional charges that you define for your membership. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next video.